guys, welcome to today's shop talk. Today we are putting power brakes on our Tacoma Attigan. We're really excited to be working with power brakes this year. It's gonna be a huge upgrade in stopping power and just safety in general. And we are so busy right now during build season with all the other trucks. So we're gonna have our shop do it out at Dark Horse Customs. So we gotta get out there, they're waiting for us. It's uh, rotors, pads, and calipers, and then like the brake line that goes down. Yeah. The knuckle. Yeah. Finally the frame learned to the caliper. I finally learned the proper term for that piece that connects the upper and lower control arm. It's the <laughs> knuckle. It's not the wishbone. Not the thingamajig. Not the doohaggy thing. Since we're here, might as well talk about what we're doing. Power Brake is a company that builds braking systems even for the Toyota racing teams, like the Dakar trucks that go and race the Dakar. Power Brakes are used in those trucks. So this is basically a racing brake system. Each kit is gonna come with a replacement caliper and rotors and pads and the brake line that goes from like your top of your upper control arm down to your wish uh, down to the actual caliper itself that goes along the wishbone or the uh that goes along the knuckle that one in this box is the rotor so this is the left side as you can see it is a massive, massive difference in size and thickness over the factory rotors. The most beautiful part of it is their six piston, all billet aluminum caliper. They have built in temperature gauges on the back side. It's where your brake line goes in, your bleed valve. Absolutely gorgeous. And in here, you have the bracket and the brake lines and the pads. So you get a steel braided brake line replacement, the bracket to mount to the factory system, and the pads. So we're excited to get these on. Again, Dark Horse is really stepping up and helping us out because we're just slammed right now and we're trying to do it 10 things at once. So as Dark Horse is being our official shop, we're able to offload a lot of the extra stuff to them to get it done in a timely manner. So. show you guys the comparison between the old and the new. So as you can see, when we first built Attigan, we put just some drilled and slotted rotors on here just to help over the factory ones in. They do help a little bit, but you're not gonna notice massive differences until you go to something like this. So here's the replacement rotor plus the thickness difference. These are probably about an inch thick it's better just to see it to really show the difference here so old versus new and then also with the calipers just a lot lot more high-end technology and precision engineering going into these guys they make a huge difference we already put a set on x3 meridian our other tacoma and i mean it's it's probably double the braking power, if not more. So very excited to get these on. 
especially when we're looking at doing it more international travel, a lot more miles that we're gonna be putting on these trucks, the added weight, the braking is often overlooked. So when you add weight to these trucks, it's gonna add more momentum and it's gonna make it a lot harder for the factory braking systems to stop. So upgrading your brakes is probably one of the best upgrades you can do. It's not a cheap upgrade to do it right, like with a power brake system, but considering everything else you put on your truck, it's worth it, especially when lives are at risk. So definitely look into upgrading your brakes as well. So we're going to put it on and the dust shield seems to be hitting all the way around the rotor and the rotor still needs to go in quite a way so we're just going to look at the instructions here to see what all we need to trim oh and it looks like we might need to grind some of the mount down too okay so there are some modifications involved nothing serious just some grinding and cutting of your dust shield and uh potentially it looks like the the bracket the two bolts that hold the uh caliper on as well okay we get these modifications done so putting the rotor on here we could see that it's hitting all the way around the dust shield but it's clearing right in here so we're just going to draw he's going to draw a circle and just basically make a perfect cut all the way around to get rid of the rest of the dust shield so the rotor will be able to seat properly and clear. And I can do that or I can knock those four bolts out and knock the wheel bearing off. And... Out. Which one would be faster? Honestly, probably knocking the wheel bearing That's out. That's kind of what it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So they just wrapped up the brakes on Adigan here. We just came back from working on some other stuff. Let's see how they work. Now there is a break-in period on new brakes. Basically for the first hundred or so miles, you just want to drive them normally. You don't want to, if you do brake hard, you don't want to come to a full stop and you can help. Now let's keep in mind when we build our trucks, we add a lot of weight to them. So this is one of the most important things you could do in a safety standpoint. So I got a turn coming up here. Like, oh no, oh, I need a turn here. And yeah, it's like you don't even have to try to hit the brakes now. Hey everybody, um, I'm Andy. I work in uh, social media, but I'm also uh, been in the shop a lot recently. And we had the new power brakes that's been installed on this truck at again. And um, Tanner went through the full process of breaking in the brakes, and now I get to have the fun of actually doing a full blown brake check on these new power brake systems. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run down the road a little bit um, to a safe, controlled environment and uh, give these things a, a run for their money. So, stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go for a brake check. Oh man, that thing stops on a dime. That was rad. Sweet. Brake check complete. Well, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this shop talk, guys. It's a little different. We're not in the shop, but still getting a bunch of cool things done. So join us on the next one. We'll see you guys.